Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make curry chicken that's high in protein. What we have here in front of us is actually some ingredients we'll be using. We got the chicken actually in the fridge. As for what we have in front of us, we got an onion, some chili peppers, garlic, some curry powder. We got the Japanese curry. We have the Jamaican style curry. And um, we also have some cut up potatoes, but let's get right into it. Show you how it's done. All right, so the first thing we want to do is cut up some onions and garlic. Get our knife. Okay. So what we want to do with the onions is dice them. All right, that's good for the onions. Next, we're going to get some chopped garlic going. I like to smash it like that so it's easier to peel. All right, so once we have those cut up, we're going to, we're gonna use a wok today just cause I've cooked this dish before in a wok and it's easier to spread the chicken and evenly cook everything out. Plus, I love using the wok. All right, so we got some oil in the wok, heating up. It's already hot, I'm gonna turn the fan on a little bit, so don't mind that sound. Then, we're gonna bring our onions first. That's my favorite sound. That means we're cooking for real. Okay, leave the garlic for a minute. Let me just, what I like to do is I like to caramelize the onions first before I put in the garlic. Just move it around. We're gonna flavor the oil with the onions. We're gonna grab the garlic. Mind you, we're keeping this at a medium heat because the last thing we want is burnt garlic. Okay. So the main goal for these two ingredients is to just flavor up the oil, flavor up the pan so that when we um, cook our chicken, that chicken gets that flavor also. So this is the chicken that we're going to be using. What we used here in the seasoning is mustard seeds, fennel seeds, split peas flour, some Jamaican curry powder, some Jamaican style hot curry powder, and basically some simple salt and pepper. All right guys, so now you can see there's a little color in the onions and garlic. See that? That's perfect. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get our chicken and we're going to simply just put it in there. Chicken in the wok. Okay. There's some boiled water here for later on. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have the oil Mix in with the chicken a little bit. So right now we're just gonna cook the outside of the chicken just to give it some color. Don't mess around with it too much. Just let it be, let it, let it get that color. And then we can flip it around and then go from there. So we're back and we're here now we're gonna flip the chicken around just so that the other side can get some color as well. You can see here that's getting that color, which is what we like. This is what we want. This is the color that we're looking for, for the outside. What we're gonna do next, is we're gonna add some water. What I did is I boiled some water before, just to get some hot water. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the, um, we're gonna put the water in the bowl that we marinated the chicken with, so we can capture some of that flavor. This is the amount you want. This is maybe less than half of a cup. So you wanna get all that flavor in there. And oh. we're gonna add a little bit more. So like again, put it here. There we go. All right, we're gonna get the onions in there. We're gonna mix this flavor here. 
We're gonna keep the heat at medium for now. So next we're gonna put the chicken stock in, mix it in with the gravy. Good. All right, so next I chopped some potatoes. Um, for this portion, we're not gonna use the entire thing. We're just gonna eyeball it because the more we put, the thicker the sauce gets. So I think that's good. Mix it in with the, with the gravy, mix it in with the chicken. There we go. Get those onions in there. Nice. Yum. All right, so after we put the potatoes, we're gonna put maybe a teaspoon of this, which is the split pea flour. All right. Mix that in a bit. And next we're gonna put some, some Japanese curry. So we're just gonna put this much over here for the portion. Just drop it in the middle there. So this is what we're ha this is what's happening. We're just dropping everything in now, so that we can leave it to cook after all the ingredients are pretty much in. Nice, nice, nice. Before we leave this alone, we're gonna put this here, which is called a flavor pepper. Now, just to note that this is not hot. This just oops, I just dropped it in there. This is just to add the flavor, okay guys? So what usually happens is just leave it in there in the middle and let it do its thing. All right, so once that's all in there, we're gonna put the cover like that. We're gonna put the heat between low and medium, so like around three. And then obviously we're gonna come back and forth every couple minutes just to stir it up and make it not stick. Awesome. All right, everyone, so I'm just checking up on our chicken here. Just giving it a little mix so it doesn't stick. And right now, guys, it's smelling so good. I can't wait to try this. We also have some rice here cooking, right? Ready to go and plate. Yummy. I'm gonna try some of this sauce right now. Mmm, wow, that is good. I think it's time to plate it. Cause I'm not gonna have any rice right now with it. I'm just gonna get some curry, chicken, a little bit of potatoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh yeah. Let me try some of this sauce, some of this gravy, sorry. Blow it a bit. Mmm. Oh my God, that's juicy, that's tender, really flavorful. And try this out, guys. This is so yummy. High in protein with the chicken. And just such, such good flavor. Real nice and warm. And um, yeah. I'm going to finish the rest of this. All right. So we're going to try a bite. We got the chicken breast portion here. We got some of the gravy. I'm going in. Mmm. Yummy. Yum. Mmm. That is amazing. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.